YouTube, Lions fans across the nation, what's going on? Uh, obviously, everybody knows by this time. Um, I just wanted to see what the reaction was going to be. Obviously, I already knew what it was. A lot of emotional fans right now because Zach Zinner has been cut, which we all know is not the final say-all, be-all, because we've been here before a couple of times. Um, what are they trying to do right now with that situation? I'm not sure. Is it because of the, you know, emergence of Mr. Uh, Mark Thompson, uh, you know, big, big back, powerful runner, um, actually has good feet, um, younger guy. So we'll see. They cut the veteran for the young guy or are they trying to do something else? I don't know exactly what they're trying to do. So I'm not going to sit here and assume and, and jump, you know, to conclusions and make assumptions. That's just not what I'm, I'm going to do. Um, I tried to wait it out today to see if, uh, you know, I could see what's behind it. But um, I just, you know, basically got a bunch of, you know, opinionated thoughts, which I'm not trying to really deal with. So um, we'll see. We we'll see what happened with that situation, man. But Zach Zinner is definitely a fan favorite. I absolutely love Zach Zinner. Uh, ZZ has been here for uh, four years, man. And, you know, we ain't seen him through his ups and downs. So, you know, I mean, that's something tough to, to deal with. But, um, yeah, fan favorite, man. Everybody love him. Hard runner uh, production. You know what I'm saying? When he did get the opportunity, um, most of the time, most of his opportunity came either from an injury or at the end of the season, which is probably uh, – you know, played a factor in the reason why they went ahead and cut him. Um, you know, he was very opportune in certain situations to get that playing time. Uh, Amir Abdullah was trash and he was injured. So, you know, we had you know, Theo Reddick was dealing with injuries at one point. So, you know, he had uh, some opportunities, man. Um, and he produced, he did produce, but he did play in a lot of garbage time situations and he did play in a lot of end of the season games after you know we figured we wasn't gonna make the playoffs so you know it's ups and downs to it but you know what i'm saying it is what it is um you know whenever he hit the field whatever no matter the situation he produced and that's all that i care about he ran the ball hard he was straightforward he wasn't out there trying to you know put you on a, a dance floor and dance with you know he he was straight to the point listen man i'm trying to get this first down i'm trying to get this touchdown and i absolutely love that but it's also the reason i absolutely love mark thompson as well too because like i've said i followed him from from the beginning of the training camp i was telling y'all about running back number 49 from the first training camp video uh he just he first of all outshined him in training camp um and you know he looked pretty good in preseason so that plays a factor, man. Um, whether you want to like that or not, it does. Even though Zach Zinner has proven he actually played in games, uh, you know, that's the whole point of training camp in preseason. You know, you're jockeying for position, man. You're jockeying for um, a spot, and that's what he was doing. So, and I'm not just saying that because, you know, that's just a flat-out reason why they cut him. Like I said, I'm not – I'm not absolutely sure why they actually cut him. Uh, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming that he had a part to play in that. They also brought back Justice Stockton, uh, you know, that played in the AAF. Um, pretty much was the best running back in the AAF. Uh, they was impressed when he, when he was here uh, during camp. But um, they end up cutting him. But then they brought him back, so... We'll see. We'll definitely see him in preseason game uh, Thursday and what he can do, you know, when the lights is on, um, you know, for the NFL. We I've seen him in uh, the AAF, and the boy can go. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens, you know, preseason game four. Um, I, I expect to see a, a heavy dose of, you know, him and Mark Thompson in that second half of uh, preseason on a, uh, the fourth game, the last game against the Browns Thursday. So, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, that's that's the situation, man. 
of course, obviously didn't hear nothing about, you know, Jared or, or Ragnow uh, as far as their uh, current state right now um, or timetables or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, returners to practice today. Uh, well, yesterday, Tease Tabor, Tom Savage both returned. Tom Savage, I believe, is going to be the backup quarterback, even though we got, you know, this guy also who played in the AAF uh, for quarterback, and we went ahead and got rid of uh, David Fells. Um, I still think Tom Savage is his job to lose, obviously. Uh, but I also like what I saw in Josh Johnson, too. So we'll see what we get out of him in game four. Uh, with, you know, him being a little bit more uh, familiar with what's going on in the playbook, you know, instead of playing a game after three or four days of being here. Um, he looked better in last game. So we'll see what happened with that situation, too. Um, but, yeah, they returned back to practice. Uh, T said he's, he feels good. So this game coming up is big time for him. Um, he got to go out there and show out. Simple as that, man. You got to lock everything down <laughs> because you lost a lot of time. And, you know, that I mean, you hurt yourself. And nothing, you know, he can do about it. He got hurt, but, you know, you can't control that. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just how it is, man. It's National Football League we're talking about. So, we'll see. Uh, a lot going for game four of the preseason against the Browns, man. So, I expect a lot of inspired football on both ends because, you know, guys know it's their final opportunity uh, to try to make this roster. So, before they start making the, the, the cuts, you know, getting final cuts going. So, it should be fine. We'll see what happens, man. Just wanted to chat with y'all and, uh, you know, speak on the, the breaking news about Zach Zander today. And uh, that's all I got. I'll catch y'all later.